G'day guys, it's Nick from Hobby King again. Today I wanted to talk to you about the Sino Mini Q Slash, as it's called. Um, now this is the race uh, carbon fiber race chassis for the Mini Q. You've probably seen the Mini Q uh, plastic version on the on the website before. So this is the upgrade. Um, it uses very similar parts. In fact, a lot of the parts are the same. The diffs. The wheels, um, those sort of bits are, are exactly the same. So if you've got a Mini Q, you want to upgrade it, you can upgrade it with the chassis, or you can use this on its own. It doesn't really matter. But you could take the electronics out of the uh, Mini Q kit and put it into this. Um, but I would suggest you, if you're going to go to the expense of ma making this, you'd upgrade to a um, brushless system with proper servos and proper receivers and stuff. So let's run through the car and we'll show you what you get. So it's a very basic um, carbon fiber chassis. This one I've actually put on uh, the optional bumper, but the standard one comes just with a plate at the front to mount the body post onto. So it's got all the tuning that you'd expect in a 1 tenth scale or 1 eighth scale uh, racing car, including uh, sprung shocks. So the, the shocks have actually got springs on them. Um, it's got uh, diffs, front and rear, um, both gear diffs. You can buy a ball diff for this as well. It's got aluminium bulkheads front and rear and attached to those bulkheads are your um, shock towers and you've got camber adjustment front and rear and you've got uh, toe adjustment through the steering blocks in the front and then you've got toe adjustment through these turnbuckles at the rear. That's pretty much it. It's very stiff. Um, it is a challenge to get the electronics into there. Um, you're really going to have to cram things in, um, but parts that we've got on the listing will fit into there. Um, that's what we've put into this one, and it's chock a block. Um, so you're using all the real estate in there. You could uh, use a little less space and a little less weight by using a smaller battery, uh, but there's not really any need. Um, it actually performs better with a little bit of weight on it, especially if you're using a brushless system. So that's the Sino Hobby Mini Q Slash. As I said before, all the bits that you need to the electronics and stuff that you need to get it running are in the listing and have a look at the link below for further details on this product. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great tips and tricks. Now let's have a look at it running.